Mathematics 4, Quotient and Remainder Objectives At the end of the lesson you should be able to Divide two or more digit dividends by a one digit divisor Divide large numbers including those with zeros in the dividend by two or more digit numbers Steps to divide numbers 1. Divide the leftmost digit in the dividend by the divisor. If the digit cannot be divided, include the digit or the digits to its right. 2. Multiply the partial quotient in step 1 by the divisor. Then, subtract the product from the included digits in the dividend. Bring down the next digit. 3. Repeat the steps until there are no more digits to bring down. 4. Check your answer by multiplying the quotient and the divisor and then, adding the remainder to the product to get the dividend, or dividend equals quotient times divisor plus remainder. Example. Divide 24 by 6. We write. 6. What is being divided is called dividend. The number which the dividend is being divided by is the divisor. And the answer in the division problem is quotient. Example. Divide 238 by 3. Divide the hundreds digit by the divisor. No group of 3 and 2, move to the right, and try a bigger number. Divide 23 by 3. Then, subtract the product of 3 and the partial 7 from 23. Bring down 8. Divide 28 by 3. Then, subtract the product of 3 and the partial quotient 9 from 28. The quotient is 79 and the remainder is 1. Let's check if the quotient is correct. Multiply the quotient and divisor 3 times 9 as 27 carry 2. 3 times 7 is 21 plus 2 is 23 add the remainder 1. 237 plus 1 is 238. Zeros in the quotient. Example. 3 bags of flour weigh 624 grams. How heavy is 1 bag of flour? Divide the hundreds by the divisor. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Put the number 2 above the number 6. Multiply the quotient and divisor 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract the product of the partial quotient 2 and 3 from 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. Bring the next digit 2. Divide the 10. 2 divided by 3. No groups of 3 in 2. Put 0 in the quotient. Then, subtract the product of 3 and 0 from 2. 2 minus 0 equals 2, bring down 4. Divide 24 by 3 and subtract the product of 3 and 8 from 24. 24 minus 24 is 0. The quotient is 208 and the remainder is 0. Let's see how it's done with 425 divided by 25. The first digit of the dividend, 4, is divided by the divisor. The answer from the first operation is multiplied by the divisor. The result is placed under the number divided into. Now we subtract the bottom number from the top number. And bring down the next digit of the dividend. 
divide this number by the divisor. The whole number result is placed at the top. The answer from above operation is multiplied by the divisor. The result is placed under the last number divided into. Now we subtract the bottom number from the top. Bring down the next digit. Divide this number by the divisor. The whole number result is placed at the top. The answer from the above operation is multiplied by the divisor. The result is placed under the number divided into. We now subtract the bottom number from the top number. There are no more digits to bring down. The quotient is 17. Divide 71,453 by 35. Look at the 10,000 digit 7 less than 35, so take 71. Divide 71 by 35 as 2. Multiply 2 times 35 equals 70. Subtract 71 and 70. 71 minus 70 is 1, bring down 4. Next, divide 14 by 35. Since 14 is less than 35, we write 0 in the partial quotient. Multiply 0 and 35. 35 times 0 is 0. Then subtract 14 minus 0 equals 14. Bring down 5. Estimate how many 35s there are in 145. We have 4 35s in 145. Multiply 4 times 35 as 140. 145 minus 140 is 5, bring down 3. Divide 53 by 35 as 1. Multiply 1 times 35 as 35. Subtract 53 and 35. 53 minus 35 is 18. The quotient 2041 and the remainder is 18. Find the quotient of the following. 